Shire horses are magnificent animals, so indicative of the British rural scene, bred to provide the pulling power for agriculture and commerce in past centuries. Here in the 21st century, the breed remains, occasionally still used for the same tasks. But more often, in less strenuous activity. The Shah Horse is a vitally important breed to the country that needs to be protected and grown. And whilst many people contribute towards that aim, it is the Shy Horse Society that has the primary role of providing the leadership in making that happen. To maintain the correct standards of the breed, the stallions that are going to be bred from to produce offspring that can truly be recognised as shires have to meet exacting requirements to qualify them to be registered with the Shy Horse Society. Therefore, inspections take place to determine if submitted stallions meet the required criteria to be added to the register of qualified breeding stock. An inspection team consists of two inspectors, a vet and a representative of the Shy Horse Society. In a series of inspections across the country, the team works to assess each stallion against the defined criterion. The vet on the team We'll look at the horse with a series of tests to ensure the health and well-being of the horse meets the determined standards. Good boy. Okay. The two inspectors will follow a sequence of checks to determine the quality of the stallion's required characteristics. These will include checking for the correctness of the body, stature, height for age, legs, feet, and much, much more. As well as physically checking the stallion to gain a full appreciation of each horse's ability or otherwise to meet the qualifying characteristics, they will get the handler to put the horse through a sequence of movements and turns in both directions, walking, trotting and a lunging circle. In the UK, these inspections take place at a series of central locations in each particular area to which horses are taken to be assessed. However, for those overseas requiring the stallion to undergo an evaluation, it has become common to shoot video of the horse and then submit that to the society in the form of a DVD. In these cases, the veterinary element of the inspection takes place in the country of origin and the findings are then submitted in the form of a report. Unfortunately, many of the submitted DVDs are filmed and created in such a way that they do not provide a clear or detailed enough image of the stallion or its characteristics to enable a proper evaluation of the horse to be made. Therefore, the main aim of this video is to highlight what it is that a submitted DVD should contain and hints and tips on how to shoot the video of your stallion for the DVD. If the video image on the DVD is unsteady and wobbling about, the inspection team are unlikely to be able to clearly see what they need of the horse. Therefore you need to achieve a good steady view of the stallion throughout the video, with every shot in focus. The best way to achieve this is by using a tripod or support to steady the video camera. It is not recommended, but if you are filming with a camera phone, then use a rest to hold the phone on or against. The inspection team will need to see the horse in detail. Therefore, close-up shots will be required of all the stallion's major features. For example, 
a good front and side on shot of the horse's head, with the front shot clearly showing the eyes. The relative height and general appearance of the stallion should be shown by good steady shots of the horse from all angles. From the rear, take a shot square onto the horse and lift the tail to provide a good view of the hind quarters. All four legs need to be shown in turn. A close-up shot with a hand running down each leg helps to highlight the formation of the muscles and bone structure. At the feet, lift the feathers so that the size and formation of the foot can be clearly seen. You will need to put the horse through the same movements on your DVD that will be required at an inspection. Therefore, show the stallion moving backwards then forwards a few strides and then turning a tight circle in both directions. Frame this with the camera so that the whole horse can be clearly seen throughout the turning movement. The inspectors would want to see the horse walking and trotting towards and away from them. Therefore to show this, ensure the camera view is square head on and tail on to the horse for at least two walking and trotting movements. Three is preferable. For these, the horse should be framed so that it can be seen from head to hooves. Also film at least two passes with the camera set for a full side view of the horse's movement. As for an actual inspection, when filming the walking and trotting sequence, do not allow the horse to move too far away from the camera. About 20 metres or so is enough, otherwise the detail of the horse's movements will not be seen. For the lunging sequence, again, what is shown on the video must replicate what an inspection team would ask for. The horse should be seen clearly moving around the handler in both directions, framed so that the detail of the stallion's movement can be clearly seen. If a clear image of the stallion showing good detail is to be seen, then the light available needs to be considered. A good steady light is better than a constantly changing light level. Filming outside will usually provide this. If filming inside, ensure that sufficient light is available. In summary then, to provide a video content onto a DVD that will enable a proper evaluation of your stallion, Remember the following. Ensure shots are... Use a tripod or rest to produce a shake-free recording. Ensure that the light level is good and constant. During the walking and trotting sequences, keep the distance to no more than 20 meters or so from the camera. Provide close-up shots of the major features of the stallion. Ensure that all the standard elements of an inspection are seen on your DVD. 
pushing forwards and back, turning, walking, trotting and lunging. For your stallion to pass an inspection from a viewing of the DVD that you supply, it must show all of the relevant elements in detail and with an on-screen image that is stable and easy to view. Now, we don't expect a Steven Spielberg production, but don't let your stallion down by not giving him the best possible portrayal.